Hey guys, welcome to another video. So in this video, we're going to highlight some software that was given to me by a great company. They wanted me to review it for you. Here's the company right here. And the software is called WinX HD Video Converter Deluxe. Now right now, as you can see, they have a sale here for $35.95. Uh, and let's get into it uh, before you start saying, well, that's too high. Well, I know I'm not the only one that has purchased video converting software before. And uh, so it can get kind of pricey, but they have theirs on sale for $35.95. And uh, it's really good software. Now, let's jump into the um, software itself. So here's the software. And just looking at it, I can tell you it's really easy and user-friendly. I've used tons of different video converting software. As you can see, I have some here on the, on the edge that I use. Um, and it could be kind of tedious at times and it could it could really weigh down on you when it comes to trying to figure it out on your own so um, What I'm gonna do is use the software. I have a video that I've already uploaded this video to YouTube But it's a small enough file to where this video won't be too long So in order to um, add video to it You can just click here and it'll take you through your file explorer or if you have the video somewhere You know or on your desktop you can just drop it right into here and once you do that, uh, it's going to bring up some some options here for you. And before I do that, I want to go over some other parts of the, the way the screen looks here. So highlighting it here, just hovering here, this is like a uh, your profile. You can send uh, your files there. Uh, and that's obviously the help key. And here's the little demo area of the, the video itself. And I have this box checked here for use high quality engine because I have a, a quad core device. And I have a pretty fast computer. And here, as you can see here, speaking of computers, it'll let you choose the CPU uh, cores that you want to use. It's detecting that I have four, so I'm going to leave mine at four. Um, just going along here, you can change where you want the video to come out at. So I'm going to go ahead and browse, and I'm going to go ahead and put it to my desktop and select that folder. So when the video is finished, it's going to convert and go to this um, desktop right here. Now, depending on how long it's going to take, this is just 100 megabytes, uh, or actually 34 uh, megabytes of, of um, video, so it's not very big at all. So it shouldn't take that long, so I shouldn't have to cut the video or, or do anything. But um, up to the top of the software here, you've got the branding here, uh, up here at the top. And here is where you add your video. Or as you can see here, you can go ahead and add a YouTube URL. And that is pretty nice. You can grab a, a video from YouTube, and put it in here and it'll you can do a conversion to your computer and obviously you see photos and this is how you clear what you have in this selection right here and then you have your options there's really not much to the options which is what you want um, because most end users they don't want to have a difficult screen in front of them and have to ask someone how to figure out how to work the software or call the manufacturer which is what a lot of us want i mean i would love to have easy options like that everywhere so um, I'm going to go here to YouTube real fast and grab a URL and show you what it looks like when you put a URL in there. This is my first experience with this software. So um, we're going to keep it simple here. I'm going to go here. And as you can see there, it grabbed the last video that I just had up. That's pretty amazing. So let's verify that. I mean, this is my first experience. I like to do videos real time if I can. Uh, and uh, if I can get it right the first time I do it. And this is my first run through with this video. So we're gonna check it 70 BE. So let's go here and let's type in paste 70 BE. So isn't that pretty amazing? It grabbed the last video from the, from the address bar and it brought it here. And I'm gonna hit analyze. And that's gonna be my video um, of the video sample. There it is. For the uh, LG Optimus L90, that is pretty amazing. That is some great software. And being open and honest, I, you know, I'd never clicked that button before, so I didn't know it was going to do that. Uh, but that is pretty nice. Um, it actually tells you the size of the videos for the outcome. The format is MP4. I can grab it at 27 megabytes. That is, in the original file, is 34. It's right here. Um, but this is really, really nice, guys. I got to admit, uh, that's a really nice feature on the software. Wow. So we're going to hit cancel. We don't want to convert that one there. Um, but it gives you all these different options on the size and resolution of the actual video. 
So if you want to email it to somebody and you didn't want to send them a link, you can pick just a small one down here, or you can actually probably pick any of these because the file is small enough. You don't with Google, you want to stay under 25. That way you can send it. So I choose the 720 version if I was going to email this to someone, and that's still going to come out really, really good, especially if they're viewing it on a cell phone or a smaller screen. So there you have it. That is the URL from YouTube way to grab a video, and you can do that with any video. I think that's really, really cool. So now um, you can either click here to add the video or you can drag and drop. So let's drag and drop and show you what it does. It analyzes the video. Now, the output category, this is where you get to see the quality of your video and you can change it. So here, obviously, you know that when you're coding videos, the slower you can do it, the better quality you'll get. So you can change it to high quality and, and let you know that it's going to take longer to do that. And that's with all video converting software, not just this one. All of them do that. So you can change it to, uh, you can, it, it'll let you know this MP4. So it's letting you know, hey, this is the one that you recently used on your computer. So, I, and I did, I converted an MP4. I don't know how this software picks it up, but I didn't use this software. So uh, that's pretty good. So it gives you the options here for conversion. So. You've got different device types. It's got Apple, Android, Android Pad. I've never seen that before. Android Mobile, uh, Microsoft devices, Sony, BlackBerry, and Nokia. Now that's pretty cool. And here's where you can get into web web apps. So you can do one for that'll go straight, to, that'll go upload great and directly to Facebook, uh, Vimeo, YouTube, and just general video it has there. So that's pretty good. And at the bottom here, you can you even have an option for Macs. And I think that's really nice because, you know, Macs sometimes catch the short end of the stick because they have to do all these kind of special things just to get a basic video. And we don't have to do that in Windows. So you've actually got HD video and DVD profile. So um, let's convert it to an Android mobile phone. And then, wow, once you get in, it has all the different um brands that they have here so uh it looks like this company uh, must have a great relationship with htc and samsung <laughs> and they even have google mobile uh, video so um let's just choose htc and it's gonna do wow it's got actually <laughs> it's got some of the names of some of the uh devices in here htc new one <laughs> that's pretty cool and it gives you the different versions wow okay so Let's do the new one. And here's the little uh, demo I told you about. And let's hit run real quick and let's get a time lapse and see how long this will actually take. And as you can see over here, I don't know if you noticed that, but it popped up right here. This is gonna be the video. And again, this is a very small video. So obviously it's just a couple seconds left, which is great. And we're gonna go ahead and view that video here since um, I'm doing this real time. Um, this is just a few seconds, so we're going to let it complete. Very nice. Very, very nice. Sorry if you heard a big buzz there. My cell phone's buzzing, getting messages. Wow. All right, so there we are. We are at 100%. The file has been completed, and if you notice here, it has popped up. So let's go ahead and double-click it, and let's check it out. Hey guys, welcome to a video sample with the LG Optimus L90 from T-Mobile. Wow, this is uh, and that's, that's pretty good. So look, let's look at the size of the video output compared to my original one. So that actually is really good because uh, it's still an MP4, but now it's 23.5 megabytes. And my original file, um, you can see here, it's also an MP4, but it's 110. So to preserve space wow that's just you can use this software actually to compress some of your files if you don't have a large um uh backup drive i have a lot of storage backup storage and i have the little mini ones all over the place so um, wow so great great software here wanted to give you a run through and when you actually you can see when you click okay it opens the, the folder that you had it set for that is fantastic, guys. So this is a walkthrough for the WinX HD Video Converter Deluxe software. Pick this up again here for $35 right now through their website. Uh, here's the link here. I'll have it in the description also. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Great software. Wow, that's, that's really some good software. I will see you guys in the next one.